Welcome. I am so glad you are here. I am so glad you are here to the fastest path to cash and calm. The number one, <laughs> number one must have retail strategy. It's the difference between success and failure. Listen, I know that that is a crazy bold claim. In fact, I have to stop sharing and it looks like I can look deep into your eyes. I have been doing this for a very long time and I want you to know that I am more sure than I've ever been that what I'm gonna teach you today is literally the difference between success and failure. That what I'm gonna teach you today will impact your business so much. It is literally the fastest path to cash and calm. More of both of those things. It's going to be, it will make such a difference in everything you do. All right, let's dig in, shall we? I'm so honored that you joined me today. I am so honored that you joined me. And listen, be true, be present. It's, it's true, be present. Don't multitask. Really, let this sink into you. When you hear and read, you retain 80% more information. True story, true story. You deserve this. And I'm so proud of you for being here because you know that your store business can only grow as much as you grow. And so you've got to invest in yourself to learn and grow more so your store can grow also. And I'm really proud of you guys for being here. Really proud of you. So are you in the right place? Well, let me help you. Let me tell you. You are in the right place if you want to achieve a new level of retail in life, if you know that you could use a fresh new perspective about things, if you want to stop working harder, oh my gosh, I've made this mistake for so long. This is the single biggest thing to avoid. We'll talk about it. If you want to feel in control of your store and of your life, feel like you're running it instead of it running you, right? If you want to be choose to be rich in everything, we talk about that a lot around here, being a richer retailer in everything, right? And if you are here and ready for all this, you're in the right place. So take notes, be present, and let's go, shall we? Let me tell you what I'm going to be sharing today. So what I'm going to be sharing today is, of course, the must-have strategy that will make the difference between success and failure. And, the, and then there's, but there's some other things too. I'm going to share with you how to stop being the bottleneck to your own business. The real the real reason why you can't get it all done, why you're frustrated, how to stop pushing the rock uphill. I, I hear that, I swear, every month. I mean, all, we, all I do is talk to independent retailers, and I swear I hear that every single month. And we're also going to go over the five most common obstacles to success. You've made the mistakes. I've made the mistakes, I know. So we're going to dig into those two. But first off, really fast, really quick. Who am I and why am I here talking to you about this? I have been an independent retailer for, for over 30 years. I was almost bankrupt twice. Um, I had, I finally was able to figure all that out and I grew my stores to over $2 million in sales. And I had four kids and three stores and it was crazy great. And I sold my store so that I could share what I learned because I just, it's just not available out there. And so I share the secrets of how I overcame being bankrupt like that and of my, the success that I had with other independent retailers. And gosh, as the retail maven, I'm so eager to share all my knowledge and experience so that you can become a richer retailer and a retail maven too. <laughs> another thing, another moniker I'm proud of, another nickname I'm proud of is uh, being the mother of America's most fun family. It's true. We won a nationwide contest because of some of our crazy habits, which is, or not habits, but traditions. Uh, for example, you can see in that picture over there, the Christmas one, we do themed pictures for Santa every year, always. Uh, we get birthday pies, you get a pie in your face. We don't eat those pies. We get them in our face. <laughs> it's one of the funny things. I also love Taylor Swift. What's your favorite song from Red? I want to know. Tell me right now. <laughs> All right. And it, it retail mavens, what our goal here for you, our goal is to make more profit and better sleep. That's what we teach you to do. And it's something every retailer I talk to can relate to, right? All right, and then this is a number of number of places that my speaking and my articles have been um, I've, I've appeared in and been, been been a part of honored to be a part of. So do you remember that first day? Do you remember that when you're holding those keys in your hand drop and chat how you felt? Yes, right. Exactly. Scared. <laughs> Tanya says excited. 
Absolutely. Right. I get it. I get it. And whether it was your brick and mortar or your online store, that day you hit publish on your online store. Didn't you also feel so full of opportunity, like anything was possible? You actually felt rich, right? You actually felt rich. I get it. And I want to dig into that just a little bit longer, because what does a richer retailer mean? When we talk about it, it's not just financially, although that's certainly that certainly is a part of it. And it's something we help you achieve for sure, for sure. But we also look at your whole life very holistically. And so in that sense, richer could mean different things to different people. What does a richer life mean? look like to you? I mean, to me, this is one of the things for me is that sitting by sitting by water during the summer, reading a book, like, is that it for you? Is it more time for hobbies and activities that you love? Or is it time with loved ones that times with friends? I mean, that you, because you're not so stressed all the time. So you get to do what you and your friends love to do the most, right? Or is it time with loved ones, right? Playing games or is it experiences? <laughs> Boy, there's nothing... There's, uh, there's not a lot I love more than um, having a glass of champagne. I love that. Or is it traveling, right? Is that something you love to do? Hmm? What, which is that for you? The thing is, is that all of those answers are right, right? I mean, there's no, there's no wrong answer at all of this is what the life of a richer retailer looks like. That's what it all is that. And that's what we want for you. It's not just about having more sales. And listen, if you're you're not living the life of a richer retailer, and listen, drop in chat if any of these describe how you feel right now. If you feel like all you do is put out fires instead of getting ahead, right? Or geez, Louise, have you ever looked at your bank statement? I mean, and thought, oh my gosh. Or like sales tax, like when you've paid your sales tax form and you're like, that's how much business I did. That is a lot of money. Where did it all go? Where did it all go? Or maybe for you, cash flow is good. Cash flow is fine. But you're wondering how to break through to that next level, that next big number, you know, whether it's 500,000, 250,000, or a million or 3 million, right? Which any of those things, right? No matter what it is, that's what you want. And you're like, why aren't I there yet? Maybe you have a nagging thought that there must be, there must be a better tried and true proven way to run some of the areas in your store. Which one of these is right for you? Which one of these is right for you? <laughs> I've gotten quite a few alls. Sue says number three is good for her. All right. Awesome. I'm glad your cash flow has been great. Yeah. For a lot of people are hearing that. So that's wonderful. But true for a lot of our clients too. I'm, yeah, a lot of people are all, all. Craig says all. Susan says all. <laughs> I get it. I get it. And so you guys, the reality is, is that you're here because you want to change it, right? And whether it was a long time ago or just recently, when you, when you started, do you feel the same way now as you did that day? Do you? What I... Yeah, right. No, thanks so much for your honesty about this, you guys. Thanks. Right. No, because... The reality has sunk in a bit, right? You're holding the key to the door of your store and you're just not walking as confidently through that door as you have before, right? Or, or you're looking at your website and frankly, all you can see are mistakes, things you want to change. <laughs> that happens in the store too. Do you feel like you're missing out on more money or freedom or impact, more riches, more calm? Whether it was a long ago, long time ago, or if it was just recently, I know. This, I know that you feel differently. And so that's, that's actually the reason why I knew I had to share this. And it's, I really believe that this is, I've been doing this, like I said, for a long time, but I really believe that this strategy, what I'm going to share today, that it will have the most impact on your life. That I promise you, in fact, that my must-have strategy to become a richer retailer is going to help you stop overwhelm. It's going to help you stop procrastination and stuckness, which is a word, gosh darn it. And it's going to give you more calm, more peace of mind. That's the point about it. You see, know that I am always going to be honest with you, even if it hurts. And what I know for sure, you guys, is that you don't know what you don't know. Like, that's the real problem. And that you have beliefs that aren't serving you. And that you are indeed the bottleneck to your store success. You are, you are. I am to my own business too. And I was to my own store. And this is so true for me too. I was making the same mistakes over and over again and over again. 
and not seeing it, not seeing those mistakes. That's what was the most annoying thing. I knew to me in my head, I was doing things differently. Whoops, sorry guys. To me, I would knew I was doing things differently, but I didn't, how can I say this? I was doing things differently but not differently enough. Like then when you stood, when I stood back and looked at my actions, I'm like, oh no, that action was the same as this one, as the same as this one, the same. I wasn't really doing things very differently. I was, I was making those same mistakes over and over again. And I just wasn't seeing it. Like that's that definition of insanity that Einstein talks about, that the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. All right, I, I, that was my mistake too. Another thing that I know is true for many of us is that we're sabotaging our own business and we're sabotaging ourselves. And it's time to stop that, right? It does not have to be this way. It doesn't have to. Boy, when I think about what's possible for, for you, when, so I've been working with retailers now for over 20 years, independent retailers. And it's so, I, I tell you, I really do have the best job in the world. And your store can bring you all the results you've dreamed of when you first held your key in your hand or published your website. I, it did for me and I know it can for you. It can be, and I've seen it for thousands of other retailers. It can be a riches making machine that brings you experiences that you would never have done before and that you would never have seen. Let me share the story of Danielle. This was before COVID, but this is a true story. She was out of the store 42 out of the first 90 days of the year. Awesome. She went to a trade show. Oh, that's right in Europe. And she took more time off to wander around and relax. And yeah, issues came up at the store sometimes, but her team knew how to handle it. They knew how to handle it. They checked in with her, asked her questions, but it all went, that part of it all went smoothly. It's not that the life of a rich retailer is perfect. That's not true. Stuff still happens, <laughs> but you know how to handle it. It's not always like a raging fire. She also chose to take a day off each week of the summer with her daughter before her daughter went off to college. That's all possible for you. That is all possible for you. How? With this number one must-have retail strategy. It's the difference between success and failure. It is your mindset. It is being able to change your mindset. Now, listen, I know that some of you are tempted to leave right now. You're like, you're thinking, oh, Jeez, woo, it's all that woo-woo stuff. Uh, you know, I, I have heard about this before. That I'm not going to learn anything. That is so not true. Stay. Pay attention. Really. I'm going to take you a different way of looking at this than I believe you've ever looked at it before. I'm going to, I'm not going to tell you, I'm going to tell you different things than you've heard before. Give yourself this gift because you signed up for this class for a reason. You want things to change. So let me help you make the connection to what is really keeping you stuck. All of our clients, all of our clients say that they realize that much of their success lies in the mindset shifts that they have made. And what they thought was the real problem wasn't the real problem. It's true. Oh, look, thank you. Thank you so much. So many people in chat are saying that, yeah, they get it. Yeah, they, they've been there. Thanks, Tanya. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you so much, Roberta. Right. It's, it's a big issue. It's a big issue. And let me also tell you that I have studied this like pretty much my whole life because I've always been about learning and wanting to approve. I'm sure you are too. That's why you're here. Right. And I'll tell you that this is kind of like an onion, like every, you know, as you continue to grow and change, there's just more level, more layers to take off more, more, uh, more layers of skin to take off. So the thing is, is that to become a richer retailer, you have to think like a richer retailer. That's the difference. The, it's really about the connecting. I love this image of the puzzle because it's like connecting the thinking to the doing. They have to go together. That's what has to happen. They have to go together. And that's what completes the picture. When you think like a richer retailer, you'll do what the richer retailer does. Like I shared with you, it doesn't mean that bad things don't happen. It's not that, but it means that you're able to change the way you're looking at them, right? That's the thing. I'm going to dig into this more. I just really want you to think about this puzzle piece of the thinking and doing come together, come, coming together, because that's the connection. That's the connection. All right, let's dig in. I want to talk to you, talk to you about the five, the five most common mindset obstacles. 
<laughs> I can't wait to share all this with you too, Tanya. <laughs> you too, you too, Lena. All right, these five most common mindset obstacles, we have been told them, we have told others, we have seen them in action, so we believe them, it's true, I certainly always did, and that's what keeps us stuck. Again, it's not like bad stuff doesn't happen, but it means you're able to change your mindset and change the the way the way that um, the way that it, the way that you're looking at it. And so then, remember the thinking and the doing they come they go together. And so that's the thing. And when you believe these, you stay stuck. That's the problem, right? All right, so the other trick that's a little different that how we're gonna look at these is we're gonna break each one of these mindsets down into three parts, each one. So we're gonna talk about how there's the limiting belief. So it's what you believe about it. Then we're gonna talk about the truth check, bam, that is it. That's the key. This is where you're turning it all around. This is where the change happens. And then we're gonna talk about the opportunities so that they'll no longer hold you back. That's what we're gonna go through today through these five places. And that's, I'm really, yeah, I can't wait. So let's go. So the first one is that COVID and online sales are killing my business. Um, right? I get it. I mean, it's kind of, I mean, certainly they've, yeah, right. It's really been hard. No doubt. I know. I've suffered actually with it myself twice. Um, but when you look at how many stores have closed, right? When you think of how many retailers that have been negatively impacted by COVID, oh my gosh, it's so many, right? It's, it's heartbreaking. Traffic is way down. Traffic still isn't, isn't completely back to, um, in, in many, many places, it's not back. Some places it is, but not in many places, it's not. Um, in some places, people feel like restrictions have made it impossible to succeed. And the reality is, is that online sales now have become so much, you know, we all hear about how much more people, how much more business is being done online because everybody changed their habits and all started buying online. So, and you don't, you don't have the time or resources to sell online. Cause right. It's like opening a whole other store. I understand all of that. And when you believe this, when you believe all this, what do you find yourself doing? <laughs> I do believe this says Jerry. I get it. I get it. Right. So how does that, and so Jerry, tell me more, like, how has that impacted you? She procrastinates, right? <laughs> Stays in bed. <laughs> so true, Nancy. So true. <laughs> Sometimes you do, you just want to pull that, pull that, you know, stay, put the sheet over your head. You procrastinate, right? Feel overwhelmed. Um, right. I know exactly what you mean. I was in a tough time and traffic was way down for me. And I would just sit there and wait for people to come in instead of being proactive because I just knew traffic was way down. So do you see how, because you believe these things, they limit your beliefs? Give me a yes in chat if you do. Awesome. Yes, yes, yes. I'm so glad. So let's do my favorite thing here, the truth check. Bum, 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 bum. Here is the truth check. The truth is, is that, yeah, of course, COVID did force us to change. That's exactly right. And there's this fine line between accepting change or becoming a victim to it. And you get to decide if you wanna stay, step up to the challenge of the, ch of the change or decline it. It is your choice. Yeah, let's, we help a lot of stores um, leave retail if they want to um, sell their business or go out of business. Like they have a whole, a whole program we take them through. And we certainly have more people doing it now than ever before. And that's fine as long as it's your choice. Like I always go over this with them. Is it your, are you choosing to do it? Like, would you rather stay in business but you feel like you don't have a choice? Cause you do have a choice. But if it's your choice, then yeah, let's do it. I, I just want you to be happy. That's all I care about. The richer retailer chooses to see the opportunities instead of the obstacles. Chooses to see the opportunities instead of the obstacles. Right? So what are those opportunities? The reality is, this is the reality, is that when you think like a richer retailer, you'll see more opportunities and you'll take different actions. Not like before where you're procrastinated, overwhelmed and stuck. That's not what I'm talking about. What happens is that you, and this is what happened with people during COVID. You, you gave the opportunities that you're giving your customers more opportunities to shop with you and that will grow your business. One of my clients just last week, instead of doing a four hour open house like they always do, they're in an area where it's still really restricted. And so she did a four day open house and it was her best ever. Like it was incredible, 
It was amazing. And remembering that online sales still represent only less than 15% of all sales. There's still so much love for the in-store experience. There's just nothing like it. There's just nothing like the in-store experience. It's going to be around for a long time. It will. It's not ever going anywhere. You get to give your customers the best experience yet, online and in-store. That's exactly right. So what actions would you take if this was what you believed? Let me know in chat. Right, Facebook Lives, right? You'd never did those before <laughs> and still aren't. I know, Some, I get it. It can be, can be nerve wracking, but right, selling lives is a great thing to do um, on social media. How many of you added an online, added online shopping? Yeah, right, quite a few of you. And how about in all those other ways you thought outside the box, like with curbside pickups? Yep, you did. And phone orders and everything, right? You started doing things differently. You started doing things differently. So that's the change. That's the change that I want you to see. All righty. Number two, my competition is holding my business back. This is the other thing that I hear all the time. Um, they, geez, Louise, it's so maddening, right? They seem to have the same ideas and implement them faster. Or they're copying your products and ideas, right? Give me a yes in chat. That used to bug me like crazy. And I would absolutely get depressed on it. Or they're doing things you wish you had thought of first, that you only wish you had thought of. What a great idea. How did I not think of it? I obviously suck as a retailer. Or they have a bigger space, more resources, whatever, fill in the blank. I was so guilty of that all the time. I would see this one store that, um, oh my gosh, nonstop. They had, they were always on to the next thing. And I just, and right. And I just, they, they, have to, they do more business. They have a bigger space. They obviously have more money for it all. I can't even try to keep up. I absolutely believe that. Well, and when you believe this, what do you do? When you believe this, what do you do? What do you feel like doing? right? Let me know in chat. What actions do you take? <laughs> Scrolling their social media pages. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Wasting so much time doing that, um, right? That you don't end up executing your own ideas, right? Um, or sometimes you don't even try your own events because what's the point? That's a, that's a really good point, Cecilia, right? Right, exactly. That's what can happen when you believe this. Oh my gosh, right, you guys. I'm so, um, yeah, I'm so glad you see it. So now for my favorite part of this, right? That's what the limiting belief is. And now what this is, is the truth check. <laughs> the truth is that nothing your competition is doing is actually impacting your business. It's not, not to the biggest extent as you think. Your belief about it is, but not the competition. Your attitude and your misguided focus, that is. And when you and when you stay focused on what they're doing and what you're not doing, you are staying stuck. Remember stuckness, that word I told you? That's what this is. The richer retailer is focused on taking action, not comparing. And listen, every single person goes through this all the time. I'm not saying you still don't feel like and you don't look at somebody else, what else someone else is doing and think, dang, that's genius. Darn it. But you can't let yourself wallow there right? You don't stay in there. You don't stay stuck in there because why? You, you're looking for the opportunities. That's it. The richer retailer, when you think like the richer retailer, you're going to see the opportunities. So you'll take different actions. So you're going to realize that having competitors keeps me from getting complacent. Darn it. <laughs> but it's a good thing. You know it as well as I do. And you can, you can keep improving. That's what you'll keep doing. They help you to continue to, to grow and be better. And you can look to them for inspiration, partnerships, maybe even collaborations. And oh, this is exactly what Roberta said earlier. Oh, sorry. You, and this one first. You'll do things you've never thought of if you hadn't been pushed. You'll do things you never would have thought of if you hadn't been pushed to think outside of the box. So true, so true. And um, this is the one that Roberta was talking about before. They get to do them and I get to do me, right? That's the point. I saw this great thing on social media the other day. It was a picture of a beautiful sunset. And then in front of the sunset, there was a beautiful bouquet of flowers. And um, the point was that sunsets are beautiful, flowers are beautiful, but not 
more or less, like they were both equally beautiful, but they're completely different. Same, same. That's what you have to just keep reminding yourself about. The world absolutely needs what you do. Your rating fans need you. It doesn't matter. There are going to people be people that prefer your competitor. And that's fine because there are people that prefer you. There are people that love you more. That Because you're speaking to them more. They feel more connected to you. That's what you have to relish in. That's what you have to enjoy. So, so when you believe in all this, what actions do you take if this is what you believe? Let me know in chat. Let me know. Yes, exactly. You get to focus in on what it is that makes you unique. Juanita on our team will say, you also should take the time to create your ideal customer avatar so you know exactly who you're marketing to, because I guarantee you it's slightly different than the other person. And then you'll know what to say to them, where to say it. You can focus on building your customer base. Yes, <laughs> yes, that's right. That's right, Nancy. You've got to do that. I know Juanita's been on talking to you about that. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. Yep. Juanita brought up that you take action on implementing ideas and display, and you get to, you get to provide a better customer a more excellent customer experience rather than just sitting there and just thinking that you suck or being furious that, cause they're stealing all your great ideas. Right. I mean, that happens to everyone, but do you see how, when you think like a richer retailer, you see the opportunities and you can be grateful for it. You can be grateful for it, right? All right, number three, this one, this one. So that, that level of success means working even harder. If I could just have slept a little less, if I could have worked a little harder, I would have gotten further by now. You know, right, because there's just not enough hours in the day. To get to that next level, I have to work harder and longer and um frankly i'm out of steam right this is what i this is where this is what would always happen to me this was the one that i buy into the most i think um if i could have just slept less worked a little harder i'd be further along there's just not enough hours in the day who have said that before um i'm always falling short somewhere right business family health where there's i i, I no matter where i am i wish i was in one of those other places you feel like Life is a hamster wheel and you're always falling short no matter what. Have you felt like that? Drop a me in chat. Let me know. Yeah, thanks again for your honesty, you guys. And listen, it's okay to feel that way. It's okay to feel that way. But when you believe it in your head, what actions do you take? <laughs> None, exactly. <laughs> you don't create a plan because it feels like things go off the rails anyway. What's the point? That feeling of overwhelm that you have, it just keeps you from taking action. And then you don't change what isn't working because you're too busy to even figure it out. You're too busy to even figure it out. I have dealt with this significantly. <laughs> and it just kind of is one of those things that for me keeps rearing my uh, its ugly head. <laughs> Not that my head is so beautiful, but it's that's the whole thing is that it keeps rearing its ugly head. This one does for me. So the truth check, the facts of this is that you're actually working way too hard already. It's true. You're like, what? But I'm not getting everything done. Stick with me. Stick with me. Stick with me. I've experienced this one so much. Working harder will keep you stuck. And what I'll tell you is that what got you here will not get you there. What got you to the point you are isn't going to get you to where you want to go. The richer retailer is not sacrificing or grinding all the time, every day. There are periods of time for sure, right? But not all the time. The richer retailer works smarter, not harder. They work smarter, not harder. This one hits most the hardest. It's not just me, right? <laughs> I'm so glad I'm not alone. <laughs> Do you want to hear about the opportunity? Give me a yes, because there is one. There is more than one. Are you ready for it? Uh, look at all those yeses. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. So when you think like the richer retailer, you'll see the opportunities and you'll take different actions. 
When you think like the retail, richer retailer, you'll see the opportunities. You'll choose to stop being busy and start being intentional. That was and can, is, it continues to be a game, game changer for me. Being intentional about every part of your life. You start working on your business instead of just in your business. I know you've heard that, but the thing is, it's, this is different. You're asking yourself, how can I make this easier? That's what you're asking yourself. When we, have you ever asked yourself that? N no, right. How can I make this easier? How is that part? That's what helped. That's the opportunity you have here. What I know for sure is that planning creates time. And how do you want to spend that time? That's what I mean about being more intentional about it. When there's more mind, there's less grind. When there's more mind, there's less grind. There is. This is how you get off the hamster wheel. Listen, the fact is, is that Beyonce, Taylor Swift, Bill Gates, every president, your most organized mm -hmm. friend, they, we all have the same 24 hours in the day. And with your vision of your store and your time firmly in hand, it makes it all easier, all easier to get and increases your sales. It does because you're more clear, you're more intentional. So what actions would you take if this is what you believed? Let me know in the chat. I'll tell you what it did for me is that I used to feel that I could never... I could just never manage my time well, like I could just never do it. And so I would absolutely do things that wasted my time and didn't move me too much towards my goal. But now that I know this, now that I, I stop myself from thinking that, and I'm like, yeah, scrolling on social media isn't taking me where I need to go. And then you also have, you'll, you'll start, well, the other opportunity in this is figuring out what you are best at. What's your superpower? What's your unique ability that only you can do in the store for your business? For your online, whether it's online or brick and mortar, it doesn't matter. And then you can delegate the rest. You figure out what you're, you're the best at and you delegate the rest. You can take time to plan because when you've got a compass in place, when you know where you're going, when you're being intentional, even a storm doesn't throw you off track permanently. I would get off track a little bit and I'd feel like, oh, the hell with it. This never works. Never works. It's just stupid. But not anymore. Now I know I just, nope, this storm just got me off track. I'm going to come back. I'm going to come back. I have started planning and being intentional about every area of my life. It's actually, I, so I was sharing with you earlier, I mentioned quickly in passing that I've had COVID twice and I'm actually a long caller. Like I still have symptoms. And, but I'll tell you, it's forced me. So I for sure went through a time period where I was feeling very sorry for myself about it. No lie, no lie. But I turned it around and I said, so what opportunities are there? And right, it's forced, it's forced me to be more intentional, but that's been a gift. It really, has, so I can see now this opportunity that I've had because of it. It's really exciting. I see it so completely differently now. And this, I tell you, I just keep learning this over and over again, that more mind and less grind gives you new results and a new mindset, always. Because the more mind and more grind, less grind, changes your mind. That's what you get the new results from. That's what happens. That's what happens. I still will feel things, but I don't believe them. Like I'm able to turn it around faster than ever before. I also really love this too. Whatever your mind can conceive and believe, it can achieve from Napoleon Hill. But you'll see that first you have to think it. So Commit to getting out of the hamster wheel. Stop juggling all those balls. Step away from the spinning place. <laughs> Plates, I mean. Create time to think. Create time to think. <laughs> all right, the next one. The next one. Let me know in chat. Was it so, so was this good? Do you agree? You're, you're with me so far? Okay, good. Great. Oh, you're so welcome. Thanks. Alrighty. Oh, thanks, Audrey. I appreciate it. It's an honor. It's really an honor to help you. All right. This next one is super sneaky. I thought it. I still sleep, slip with it. I mean, <laughs> I know you have all thought it too. What is it? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What it is, is it's that the weather controls my sales. Right? Right? You too? Tell me. Uh, if it's too hot, people don't shop. If it's too cold, people don't shop. If it's too rainy, people don't shop. If it's too snowy, people don't shop. I believe this. I can't be the only one. 
<laughs> and when you believe this, tell me in chat, what actions do you take? <laughs> Clean out the back room. Right, exactly. I get it. I get it. You go sit in the office and feel sorry for yourself. You start stressing about the bills you won't be able to pay because you won't get any sales today. Right? Or, or, not that your back room doesn't need cleaning out, but again, if that's your choice, that's fine. We don't want you taking those negative actions because of a limiting belief. So now let's go to the truth check, my favorite. It's true that weather might influence your customer's behavior, but only you control your sales. Only you do. When you have clear goals, that drives your actions, which drives your results every time. Weather has nothing to do with it. It doesn't. It doesn't. Clear goals will drive your actions, which drives your results every single time. Every single time. And the richer retailer will take action based on their goals, not the weather. Not the weather. Right? So, hmm. so now that you've had the truth check, what's the opportunity? What's the opportunity here? Well, when you think like the richer retailer, you'll see the opportunities and you'll take different actions. You'll ask yourself, well, what else is possible today? I've been, I've been meaning to clear out my back room. I'll just move it up to my list and I'll do it today. That's fine. That's great. As long as it's a decision, right? What needs to take place for me to reach my goals? Like what other goals do I have for this month? What else needs to, what else needs to take place? You'll ask yourself those questions. How can I improve on my customer experience because of this? How can I use this to my advantage? What actions would you take if this was what you believed? If this was what you believed? Let me know in the chat. Let me know in the chat. Yeah, reaching out to a top customer. Yeah, about a product they, they love. I always recommend that people call their rewards customers who are like one purchase away from reward or who have a reward to spend or something or I'll call. I would even call people that had open gift certificates. I didn't care or open store credits. I didn't care, um, right? Go live on social media. That's a great one to show off products perfect for the weather. I love that. That's great. That's great. Share all the convenient ways my customers can shop from home. Genius. Yep. Do you see what I'm saying? Do you see what a difference that makes? Do you see what a difference that makes? Listen, I want to share with you this one story. It was a client who's um, was a client who had a quilt store up in Minnesota, and it was the last day of the month, and there was huge. It was a heavy snow day, and so Marsha was down forty four hundred dollars for the month in sales, and it was all in machine sales, right? So listen, she left for the day at about three and told her team, "Listen, you guys, you did a great job. You really put a put a great effort forth. We're going to hit the goal next month. I just know we will." Um, and so, so she left, and meanwhile, they're like, they they started thinking. They knew what the goal was. She shares her goals with them, so they had they knew what the what the what they were very clear on what the goal was. So they started thinking you know, we could still do this. Uh, it, it, the snow, there's not going to be anyone inside the store anyway. We aren't going to have to worry about that. So they started looking at a list of customers. They made a few phone calls. Who can we call about a machine? They found someone. They offered, them, offered her an add-on to buy that day. And she did. And they made the month. They literally, they sold a $10,000 machine. $10,000 machine. Clear goals clear goals drive your actions which drive your results clear goals drive your actions which drive your results weather has nothing to do with it can you see that can you see what i mean by that now it's so powerful it's so powerful all righty let me give you the last one all right so number five we're on number five now. Number five is one that um, I also have been guilty of in the past. And um, most every client that we have said that that was true of them too. And that is that I can do it on my own. And I get it because uh, I'm the only person who knows how to do it right and best. It's faster to do it myself. Any, any other moms out there who have kids and like teaching them to make their beds or do anything like that. Um, I don't want to be dependent to others. I don't want to be, you know, I don't want to have to depend on them, you know, um, and you guys, this is the sneaky one. This is the sneaky one. If I can't do it on my own, it means that I'm not smart enough. I'm not resourceful enough that I'm not enough. I'm not enough. Often there's a voice saying to this to you. 
that you're not enough. When you believe this, how do you feel? <laughs> not getting out of bed. Again, I get it, right? Hasn't it happened? It's painful. What actions do you take? None, right? None, right? Um, I feel overwhelmed. Oh, this is interesting, right? This is a really good point. Dan, Danny says, um, I feel resentful because I want help, but I know it won't be done right. So I have to do it myself afterwards. They'll make a mistake. I get it. Yeah, so true, Taylor. So Tanya, I mean, says, um, I beat myself up when I don't get things done. I know, I know. So you guys know by now that we're gonna check it. We're gonna talk about the truth check, right? So the truth check here is that that's not true. That the most successful celebrated people in the world choose to help accelerate their professional and personal life. They do, they do both. You, you, you deserve a mentor to give you new ideas to give you different perspectives and tools and more focus and more accountability. You deserve this, the additional success, the faster success that a mentor can give you. The richer retailer knows that to get to the next level, they need to learn from someone who's done it before if they wanna get there faster. That's the point. The smartest person knows that they don't know it all. The smartest person knows that, right? So what opportunities are there in this? If you're done believing that limiting belief, what's the opportunity here? When you think like a richer retailer, you'll see the opportunities and you'll take different actions. There is no need to do this alone. You go faster and further with an expert to help you. It speeds up your success. It's true. And that everyone deserves a co coach to point out two things to them. A, a coach tells you what you're doing well and where you need to tweak a strategy, where you need to do things better. Both things are so powerful. They're so powerful. I just got done talking to a client who said um, we were just about done with our time. And she's like, OK, all right. So um, I think what I need you to do now is tell me where else um, I'm doing great, because um, I just wasn't feeling that great this morning. Hey, that's yeah. I you know we I've worked with thousands of retailers. I can tell her what's what she's doing exceptionally well, right? That's really wonderful, it's really wonderful to know. And coaches and mentors point out opportunities that you might miss because you can't always see them. You can't. You can't. So often you're looking right at them, but you can't see them because you just have your own perspective. So they, that's someone else that gives you the outside perspective. That's what's so powerful about it. So what actions would you take if this is what you believed? Let me know in chat. Let me know in chat. Right, you'd ask for help. I'd hire a coach to help me see the opportunities I'm missing. I would know that I'm enough. So true, that's what happened to me. That was what, that's when I decided to resource up was when I was like, I know that I'm enough and that you can't be great at everything and it's okay, perfectly said. That is exactly it. That's, that's you, and you, sh you aren't great at everything. And, and instead of trying, when I think of the years I wasted trying to get better at the things I'm bad at, which there are a million things I'm bad at, instead of just focusing on what I'm best at, right? That's the opportunity in it. That's the opportunity there. It's really powerful. All right, so let's do a quick recap. Whoop. So COVID online sales are, are killing my business. Well, you guys can read them. Which of these is the one that is that has that you feel the strongest? I'd love to know. Yeah, three, all of them. True. Yeah, thanks you guys for sharing. One. Yeah, thanks Robert. That's true. That's true. I've also I used to I I still think that about the weather sometimes. I like when I look outside, I'll be like, oh my gosh, what a crummy day, boy. When I had the store, I'd think I'd never do any business this day. It's funny. Well, so what's the recurring theme of all these? What do all of these beliefs have in common? What do they all have in belief? What do they all have in common? What's that recurring theme? It's oh my gosh, you guys. It's believing that outside forces control your life and your success. They all imply that, that they're left to the whim of outside forces, that like you're just a dinghy on the stormy sea that's about to happen. 
That's what I love about this image. And that's just not true. This is not what a richer retailer believe. It's not the situation. It's not the person. It's not the event that controls it. That's not it. It's what you are thinking about the situation, the person or event. So now look at this image. This is a picture of Fred the goldfish. This is Fred the goldfish right here. This is Fred, you can call him Fred. <laughs> Let me tell you that Fred, if he only focused on the fact that he was, when he was in this bowl swimming around, if you're spending your time focusing on the problem of being stuck in a small crowded bowl, then you don't even see the opportunity that there is a bigger bowl right here. All you needed to do was look for the opportunity and jump, just like Fred the goldfish did. So whether you're focusing on, it's, it's, excuse me, it's whether you're focusing on feeling powerless or you're seeing the opportunities, that's your choice. That's your choice. Are you going to focus on feeling powerless or are you going to see the opportunities? <laughs> or are you going to eat chocolate? Yeah. And I'm not saying you can't do that sometimes, right? I get it. It can be hard sometimes, but I want you to make a choice. I don't want it to happen to you, right? So what do you need to succeed? You need to edit your thoughts. You need to change your mindset. What would the richer retailer think about this? And embrace those opportunities. Embrace those opportunities. Choose what you want to do. Less grind <laughs> and more mind by working on your business, not in it. Less grind, more mind by working on, not in. And you are worthy of a mentor. If you choose to, you are worthy of it. It's just a choice that I want you to make. And these turning points alone are enough to change your life. They are what we've gone through today. And now you have a bit of a choice in front of you. You can either have no change. And, and it's because it's really, it's really all about this. Oh, I'm sorry, I lost my place for a second. It's really all about this. It's about where you want to go next. You can take no change and continue your stuckness. You don't want that. Don't learn to be a better leader. You can continue to feel like you're pushing a rock uphill by yourself and still be the bottleneck for your business. Or, 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 or you can choose to become a richer retailer. You can choose. You can choose this freedom, less worry. You can choose more peace. You can choose more financial freedom, more time for what you love. You can feel full of opportunity. That's what makes a person feel rich. Not just hope, but a strategy to help achieve this. That's what you can choose. You can choose, you can make that decision. And so how can Retail Mavens help? Well, let, listen, my team and I have set aside time to speak to you personally, how to apply these ideas to your life. And this is a customized approach so that you get the right impact right away, the greatest impact right away. That's what we want for you. We're always about like, what's the low hanging fruit? Whatever challenge you're up against, listen, we have seen it and we know, we know how to overcome it. So that's the benefit. That's, what, that's how we can help you. And what will we do during our call? Well, let me tell you exactly, because as you can imagine, we're intentional about all this, right? So during the call, we help you get exactly clear about this. We'll help you create a plan for you to end the year super strong. We'll find opportunities that you can't see, and we'll find $5,000 hiding in your store in 30 minutes. I didn't used to say this because I felt like it sounded sleazy or something, but uh, you, <laughs> you know already, I started out this whole thing saying I have bold claims. I will tell you that we'll find at least that because usually it's much more. It's much more, but we will find it that you can't see and we'll tell you how to access it. We will just from talking to you and asking you a few questions. We'll also find out which mindset is holding you back the most and what shifts you need to do to get the results that you want. And the cost, abs absolutely free, absolutely free for you. Absolutely free, but there is a catch. Because the thing is, it's not for everyone. It's not. Like, I can't, I don't want to be talking to somebody who's not open to new ideas. So you've got to be open to new ideas and willing to try something new to get new results. You have to be willing to shift your mindset, right? We want to talk to indie retailers who are clear that there is more that they want. They want more. They want more impact. They want more sales, more fun, more freedom. That's what being a richer retailer is. And if this is what you want, then book a section right now. Book a session right now.
All right, Tanya, it's coming right now. <laughs> Tanya's like, I want to know where it is. Here you go. Book your call today. This is where you go. They'll put it in chat also. Retailmavenscoaching.com forward slash profit activator. Retailmavenscoaching.com forward slash profit activator. Of course, as you can imagine, we have limited sp limited spots available. I mean, that's just a mm -hmm. fact. Um, and and I want to tell you why we do this because for sure we get people that don't want to do it because they're like, oh, this is just a sales call. No, it's not a sales call. We are experts at what we do, and we really our our mission, our mission, is to help three thousand retailers get more profit, more success, better sleep. And this is just part of what our goal is. That's why we're doing it. So it's not just a sales call. It's not a sales call. That's not what I mean. It's not at all. If there is a way, it will, we'll ask you if you're interested in getting more information. And if you are, great, we'll help you. But that's not, that's, that's not it. You see, because what we know is that when you're open to shifting your mindset, you start seeing opportunities all over. It's like so thrilling. You get to learn the math that makes you money. You get to manage your inventory and cash flow well, finally. And you get to live a richer life by asking what else is possible. You get to better serve all of your customers and to make sure that you're not burnt out. You can't afford to get burnt out. Your people love you so much. And that's what we can help you do. This is what, this is what we can help you do. We, we want to open you up to this richer retailer life. That's what we want to do. Remember, remember, remember Fred the goldfish? Remember him? <laughs> we want to make sure that you end up in a bigger bowl. Let me go back to that slide really fast. Here it is. We want to make sure you end up in that bigger bowl. Who wants to jump in a bigger bowl with us? <laughs> yes, 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 yes. That's what we want for you. We want to show you the opportunity that you might be missing. So book your free call today. Book your free call today. It'd be an honor to help you. RetailMavensCoaching.com forward slash profit activator. We'll help you find that $5,000 in 30 minutes or so. We'll help you figure out what's the low hanging fruit that you, can, that you can take action on right away that'll get the greatest impact on what you do. Yes. Listen, thank you so much for being here. It's been an honor to share this with you. It's been an honor. And I cannot wait to have the opportunity to talk to you and help you jump into that bigger bowl, show you that that bigger bowl exists and show you how to get there. Tell you exactly how to, exactly how to plan that jump, the strategy for the jump. <laughs> All right, you guys, happy retailing. I look forward to talking to you soon. Bye now.